Hi Leos, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. I'm gonna be doing your general reading between April 1 to 15. Let's see who is coming towards you in love. We'll also see your career and money, how it's shifting. So stay with me and let's check out Sun Moon Rising or Venus sign in Leos plus Ross Watchers. <clears throat> If you want to go for a personal reading consultation from me, white prayer base spell done from me, you can reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram, or email. All the details are given down below in the description box. Let's see Leos, Sun Moon Rising, Venus and Leos plus Cross Watchers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so two cards are hidden and three are out. Someone definitely has a mad obsession over you craze over you and you're more like oh let me focus on my career because i want to be successful i am successful i'm not want to be i am successful i know my worth i have ideas i just have to put them at work and i'm going to be big and i'm going to be a star i'm going to be this i'm going to be that you're very focused on self you're becoming a better version by each day you're you know you're traveling you're learning you're growing your spirit is growing you're becoming more high vibrational you're uh, you know you're rising above your own fears and you're releasing all blockages and moving forward in life with grace and happiness so life goes on that's your strategy right now i'm gonna make it big eight of swords then you have the king of cups let us clarify on the king of cups and the eight of swords that is why these two cards are hidden Okay, there is someone that doesn't have the courage to say certain things to you. One of that is, oh my gosh, he or she, the Leo is so strong that I'm losing it. I'm not feeling confident. I might get rejected. I may not be liked. You have attracted someone extremely sensitive, emotional, head over heels into you and is scared of your style is scared of your attitude like they think that you're so uh you're stronger than this person okay that's how they see you and you don't like to look back so it feels like this person is trying to stop you and you know uh trying to distract you from your focus and you know where you have to look back um this person doesn't want to you know distract you they think that you are moving ahead in life and you have goals and you big dreams and if I distract them, they have to look back. I don't need that attention. This is what this person is saying to themselves. They're quite good. Someone very passionate about you. Uh, I feel like with the princess of cups, you could be younger than this person. Or you may have, you, you do like this person. Or somewhere there is expectations you have from this person, but you have no idea that this person has fallen in love with you. You like to talk to this person or you will like to talk to this person but you're just a little on and off because you have no idea that this person is keeping strong feelings inside for you okay so you're in this attitude where i don't give a damn i'm looking for my personal growth and happiness because i suffered a lot and i now i want to make it big now i want to do things for myself i'm seeing a color red lipstick okay red lipstick everywhere whoever is a feminine over here that's another hint i feel like you'll be you you would love to be approached by this person but you're not pushing this person you're not putting a pressure you have no expectations that this is going to happen or that is going to happen you're leaving it to universe because you believe in naturally things happening okay but this person has intense desire like i'm seeing they're burning okay inside the, like the fire in them to have you in their life is just like growing inside of them wheel of fortune life is changing everything is changing okay they can see you traveling so far away from this person like in a way that you've become so busy doing your thing that they can see that uh you are becoming more and more unapproachable unreachable with time and they might lose you and you may completely forget about this person, whatever um, thoughts you have about this person, you may not even entertain that. So this is what they're fearing. So they're afraid of letting you go and then they're also afraid of telling you what they feel. Yes, because they're overtly emotional and sensitive. They need some sort of a push, backing, and 
there you go you will see this person bursting out with deep intense emotions okay telling you that they have strong feelings there's a sense of insecurity they are they feel like you're not focused on them you might reject them and you may not be interested in them i've seen that they're just putting themselves down by thinking like this it's just that their self-esteem is down right now their confidence is low maybe because uh their past lover was toxic and they had to go through a sudden breakup which has affected them and their self-confidence and love but with you coming into their life there is hope that something exciting true and honest and loyal is coming my way so now they can see that there is hope and they're very excited you bring them happiness you bring them light you're like a sunshine in their life after going through a series of emotional outbursts and pain you bring that confidence in them that yes love exists and there is new hope you bring them hope okay so i'm seeing what this person is doing is they're trying to match your vibe by focusing on their work by focusing on their life purpose they may be making equal money as you are but they're not able to focus on their work because you come into their mind they are until and unless they don't have you they can't focus on their work they're trying to do that be on the same page as you are but it's just not getting there so this person is finding it really difficult to not have your thoughts and focus on work completely they are not able to focus on anything but you you guys are actually both of you are doing well in life career wise financially they want to talk to you they want to bring you guys on an equal page that means they want to come confirm or and i feel like if you say no this person will be extremely heartbroken and so there is a lot of um fear inside but they really want to sit down with you and talk about their deep feelings and they know deep inside that you are going to appreciate and take it in a more mutual way this person is mature they're an old soul this is someone that will be very very loyal till the, till the last breath and they're looking for someone that is equally old soul and i feel like they could be slightly older or their point of view the things that they do their mindset is like an old person because this person values relationships and emotions so they don't know how you dealing with things or how it is going to be with you they want to build a family with you it's like they think that they're getting old they need a family they want to get married but they're sneaky i feel this person not in that way but i feel like they're sneaking in your life but they're not expressing themselves confidently instead of just coming through you know right in front of you some of you this person is um helps people who have undergone a theft or a robbery they could be into police they could be into law is also what i'm seeing but they do something that is uh in regards to serving families they could be into bank as well but this person is in a boss position okay they are fair and honest they want someone that is fair and honest retreat i feel like the past still keeps a close watch on you that you have to stay away from okay this person is completely safe for you very loving and caring and you guys will have heart to heart connection your hearts will connect like no other and you guys would never want to disconnect from each other this is a beautiful bond that lasts for lifetime unrequited love please clarify on that unrequited love retreat four of swords okay seven of swords there's a thief in the picture here let me see who this is six of wands you walked away from someone that was constantly lying to you okay and that has made you guarded and you don't want to put any more efforts into love so it might take a lot of time for this person to convince you or to win your trust because you have been cheated or lied to by someone in the past and when you walked away from that difficult unrequited retreated situation you found yourself you're doing well you're becoming successful you're taking good care of yourself you don't want to go back that is what you're thinking like what if this new love comes in and shifts your energy back like before yeah you guys are trying to get back um 
into your senses okay i feel like you're already in your senses but there's someone from the past um that has hurt you a lot and is going to create uh, a sense of doubt in you towards this new person i feel this new person feels like they're messing up everything instead of just simply coming towards you and telling you how they feel they're not feeling good they're just stressed out yeah be bold and make the first move i feel they're not feeling bold or confident to make the first move so if you get hints you can reach out to this person that is what they want to say indirectly clean it up one person has to clean the past trauma i feel it's you leos you don't want to put in efforts into new love because you have been hurt in the past and you're like no i'm giving up on this energy because i have been in this energy in the past where i went into this overthinking depression um depression and stress and overthinking i don't want to go through that again so first of all there is a need for you to completely disconnect the past or if you have some sort of a comparison going on between the past and the new love maybe this is going to happen to you again it won't happen to you again some of you have been extremely disappointed in the past so you're not able to make a decision regarding the new love you're confused you're scared that what if the same thing happens to me by this person as well so let me tell you that your confusion regarding uh you know your love life is going to create adversities and not otherwise so don't compare the past love with the new love they're completely different from this one and then we're having deceit you have been deceived by someone i feel like there's a very strong energy someone in the past creating a lot of troubles for you they might still be creating troubles for you there is a need for you to stay away from someone that likes to emotionally you know control you so someone in the past that's still coming back i feel there is a need for you to get over that person you may have blocked that person some of you are still hurt okay i feel you're right now since the time you disconnected from the past person you started to build yourself accept your life the way it is and you can see yourself growing you can see yourself getting better with this new love coming into your life you have fears you're like okay can i trust this person you don't have to doubt because this new person is completely different from the past that's still deceiving you or that is still into you only for money i feel like most of you dios i feel the past wants to still connect with you because some sort of financial benefit they can get from you okay so the past should be in the past yes i feel like now you have accepted that the past was in the past and now you don't have to go back it's all done you are going to finally embrace this new relationship with no fear or no comparison with the past yes the new love that is coming towards you is definitely very deep in love this is someone that has a lot to offer you only if you allow because they also have their own fears and if you reject them that would be hurtful for them and they won't be able to stand up on their feet again so both of you have been hurt both of you are sensitive so there is a need for you to continue this connection this new relationship with extreme sensitivity in the beginning you will be surprised how this person is going to you know change your life and sweep you off in no time and you will forget all your troubles and worries that the, that the past person has caused you let me seek an advice for you yes this is a relationship that's going to heal you from the core of your heart your heart chakra will open up again you will fall in love again and extreme healing is taking place with this new love let me see the signs this new love virgo taurus aquarius scorpio okay these are the signs now i want to see from aries to pisces what does your person think and feel for you all right i also want to know your money guys because i know each and every one is interested in overall growth money for leo please oh wow you guys can work in a team i feel like whoever is coming towards you in uh, support of you like your colleagues they will be extremely cordial and favorable towards you okay two of swords uh, i feel like some of you want to change your career and that change is going to be extremely effective some of you have two career options the second one is much better because you want some excitement now you're bored of the same old past job and not 
the money is not increasing and so you're planning on doing something new or as a side hustle you want to do something it's a good idea for you okay now let's see from aries to pisces towards leo oh wow you're their happiness this aries person is making a decision that they want you and only you and they have been cautious with each and every step taurus is madly in love with you guys okay and then we have uh gemini Gemini sees the potential with you. I feel like the Gemini has two love offers and they have to decide between you and the other person. Cancer. Cancer is very, very into you. They see you as a soulmate. They want to date you. They want to sit with you. They want to spend time with you. This person has connected with you emotionally. Leo. Leo is cautious of the past experience. So they have loved their space. So slowly they want to open up towards you. Virgo. Virgo is extremely vindictive, trying to block, unlock you or hurt you. Stay away. Libra. They're too slow and stagnant. They're not able to take a decision. Scorpios. Overly protective, caring and wants to marry you. They could be slightly older. Sagittarius. They're negative. They have hurt you and this person will continue to lie to you. Capricorn. Extremely manipulative. Stay away. They keep on uh playing games with you aquarius they have someone else in the picture or they're gossiping behind your back pisces pisces wants a true blue relationship that lasts and turns into something really fruitful like marriage this person is thinking in a positive direction they see you as their future partner all right Someone's name is Nia Nathan. Okay, you guys have P, R, A, and N in your name or your person's name that is coming towards you. Roop Nagar, I'm hearing some city in India. I'm also seeing you're dealing with a narc, okay? And they really played you. Yeah, this person loved playing you. Someone's name is uh, Arnav Roop. Narinder, something like that. Paypal. Pra, something like that as well. Prani, Pranav, something like that. But yes, uh, if you stay focused, you have a clarity of what you want. It's going to take you a long way. I'm seeing you manifesting great results if you stay clear about your intentions and be expressive. Get a clear quotes for that. Someone loves eating prawn you just recently had. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of love and respect is coming towards you from everywhere in your workplace as well. The connection that's coming towards you is sophisticated, very, very sophisticated. I'm hearing devil wears Prada. So I feel like the past has been extremely manipulative. They're trying to come back with all the nice, nice energy, but you, you can't trust this person. Spend time doing fun things like music, going to cafes, and uh, you know, socializing. I'm also seeing said, Rapunzel. Wow, someone has long hair. Okay, so uh, Penelope. Okay, Paris, Parag. Someone's from there. Someone's from Paris. Someone's from Zambia, Zimbabwe, Italy, uh, Namibia, Puerto Rico. Someone just went paragliding recently or loves there. Uh, Norway, someone's from Norway, Peninsula, Panama. Alpha, I'm hearing Alpha. Someone is Alpha over here. The phone of Prada, are you wearing right now? New Zealand, someone's from New Zealand, someone's from Pakistan, someone's from Russia, America, okay, India. Oh wow, someone is in public eye. I'm seeing you will get a lot of recognition. Oh, karma. Don't worry, whoever has been hurting you will get a karma really bad. Don't worry. So I feel this person has these letters also possible. I'm seeing prayer now as well. Keep a rose quartz with you to open up your heart because you need a lot of emotional healing right now. So for that, a rose quartz will be wonderful. Pure one, okay? You can get it from me.
Zakir could be the name. Mm, I'm hearing N and R. Your name has N and R. Like S, yes. Okay. So anywhere you guys could be from or your person from. New Jersey. Nepal is also there. Okay, and then you're seeing home. Someone is working from home and having a wonderful time. Or this person, you know, you will feel home with this person. They'll do a lot of healing for you naturally. So it's an extremely healing connection that you're attracting. So that's about it, Leo's. I hope you've enjoyed this wonderful, beautiful reading. Thank you for your time. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to I Enigma. I'll see you back again with more stuff. Bye.